Good afternoon. Today, we are going to discuss ant pollination of passion fruit flower. So I think it is better to start from the parts, floral parts of a passion fruit. So let's use this one that has closed as our example. So this is the calyx. The calyx is the leaf at the bottom of the flower. You see, there are three of them. It is green. And then there is this other one. It's part of the calyx. So it's part of the calyx. So then there is this one, which is the uh, petal, the one that I will call petals. And this is how they look like. So it, it, it has color to attract insects. You can see, it's very beautiful color. And then, so all those ones, you know, they are floral parts. Then, the, if you see this one, this base, it has some structures that you can see. These ones are the male part, which is the filament. So on this filament, you have, uh, no, sorry, these are the, these are the anthers. And on these anthers, you have the pulling gray. You can see them. This yellow thing here, you can see. These yellow th things here, they are the, you know, pulling grains. So this filament here eh, is the one holding the, uh, 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 the pistols. You can see. This is where the pulling grain, you know, is attracted to the female part of the flower and then so if you want to pollinate you just pick one of these and then you use it to rub on this on this and then these are three rub it on this part you can see you can see how it is so you rub it on on that then you rub it on the third one so this this, you know, this pollen grain now, we now travel from, uh, you know, this piece to, to the ofu. Can you see the ofu? This is the ofu. This is the one that will become the flower if the tea is eventually, you know, fertilized. Now, the only problem with uh, passion fruit is that the flowers are self infertile. That is to say, self pollination in uh, passion fruit uh, has very low success rate it's like 10 percent to 20 percent you know success rate that is if you pollinate 10 flowers <coughs> one or two of them are probably likely to become fruits but if you have two fines these the, the, you have two fines and there is cross pollination between the flowers of different fines then the success rate is the success rate is 80 to 90 percent. That is to say, if you pollinate 10 flowers, the probability that eight, there is probably that eight or nine of them will become fruit. So that's just the thing. So here now that I have just uh, one plant, it's just everything you are seeing here is just one plant. So the any flower that you see here now is flower from the same plant. So. I will be having very low success rate of 10 to 20 percent. So what I normally do is to rub, you know, um, anther of different flowers on uh, another flower. Though I know they are from the same pl plant, but maybe I can be successful. So let us go to this other flower. So I'm coming to this. So I will now use the pulling green from that from that one to rub this one it's just a trick at times it will become flower food at times it will fade so i will remove one here too and go and rub it on the other one there too so that you know it will it will look as if i'm cross pollinating them but that is not what they call cross pollination for cross pollination to happen you have to use flower from two different trees not from the same tree and that is it so if 
this thing is pollinated in about uh, two, two or three or four days time. This of here will become bigger and then it will turn green. But if it, it is not successful, you see the flower, it will wither away. Like this one now, it has withered away, you can see. This one is a dead flower, so this one was not successful. It has fallen. Let us check if this one was successful. We pollinated this one yesterday. See, you can see that the ofu here has become bigger and it has turned green. So this has become a fruit, for example, now. This is success. So this flower here has been fertilized. So hopefully this one will become fruit. Let us examine one or two one. See, this one is has developed into full-fledged fruit. So we have a very young passion fruit fruit here now developing. All from our you know hand pollination. Let's check another one. We have lost a lot of them, but notwithstanding. Few of them will see like this one is dead. This one is a dead flower. So that it, 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 it was unsuccessful. So that's gone. So which other one do we have here? So let's check this one. Let's check this one. Let's check this one. This one may likely fail because I've, I've not seen much development here, but it, oh, it, may, it may succeed. I, it, we did it yesterday, but it's a stone green. I want to believe that this one will succeed. But this one will die. It has stone yellow. So this, those, this one's up may likely be successful because they are still green. They still are. Uh, uh, so this one may, may likely, uh, this is another flower. See, there's another flower that you can see pollinate there. So, so ladies and gentlemen, that is how to do um, hand pollination of passion fruit. I hope you can do it on your own. Thank you very much.